What's up guys, today I've got a very quick and easy tutorial, but it's something that I think a lot of people want to do, and that's adding the payment icons under the add to cart button. These are the same icons that you would usually see in your Shopify store in the footer, but it's extremely easy to just copy these and paste them into a custom liquid section and move that anywhere you want inside this product info section under the buttons or maybe lower down anywhere you want, right? So I'm just going to show you how to do that really quickly and easily. And I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is going to be for any theme, uh, but it isn't as clean as the second method. The second method is mainly for dawn theme, but you might be able to work out how to do it for your own theme as well. Okay, so let's begin. I've removed those icons for now so that we can start at the same point. The first method that I want to show you is kind of the most simple, but not the cleanest method. And that is simply to open up your product page in a new tab, scroll down to the footer, uh, right click somewhere between these icons or on an icon doesn't really matter and click inspect. And then when the Chrome inspector opens up, you want to find the UL, the UL that is containing all of these payment icons. So here's the UL, it's UL class list, list payment. And then inside, we have list item, list item, list item. UL stands for unordered list, and it's just a container of a list, right? What you can do is highlight this in Chrome Inspector and just hit Control C or Command C to copy that. And this will copy this and everything that's inside of it, including the SVG icons. So these aren't images, they're actually SVGs, which means that it's like an image, but it's in code. So we can just copy the code of these images, right? And we're just going to go back to our theme editor, click add block, custom liquid, go into that and hit paste. And you should immediately see all your payment icons showing up. We're going to drag them under the buy buttons. And the last thing you might want to do is to align them somehow differently. Currently, they're right aligned, you may want them centered, or you may want them to the left. So to change that, what we're going to do is add a style attribute inside of this open UL, and then we're going to add style and two quotation marks like this. And we're going to write justify content flex start. And then this semicolon, and that's going to left align them. Or if you want them centered, then instead of flex start, you're going to write center. Now, this was the kind of quick and dirty way to do this. In reality, I wouldn't do this because basically, when you add a payment method, if you add a payment method to your store through Shopify settings, it's not going to show up here because we've just copied and pasted the code that's from the footer. So the best thing to do would not be to copy the code that is output here in the Chrome inspector, the best thing to do would be to copy the original code that is part of your theme. So to do that, you're going to need to find this footer code, right? So let's click on these three dots and go into edit code, open that up in a new tab. And now I'll tell you where it is in dawn theme. In dawn, it's simply a file called footer.liquid. And in any of the free Shopify 2.0 themes, they're all based on dawn. So click on footer.liquid. And now you can command or control F to search for the word payment. And you're going to find your payment icons. So here it is. Here is that UL that unordered list. And here's each list item. Only here, as you can see, there's just one because they're being output as a loop. So it's it's saying that for every payment type in your enabled payment types, output a list item with an icon. So now it's a lot cleaner, all we need to do is copy this UL. And once again, because this is a custom liquid block, and it processes a liquid, we can just paste in this liquid and now it's a lot shorter and a lot cleaner. And it's also dynamic. So when you enable a new payment type through your Shopify settings, that new payment type is going to appear here. And once again, just if you want to align it differently, you're just going to add a style tag and you're going to say justify content center, for example, or justify content flex start. 
or if you're on a different theme and it's not right aligned and you want to right align it, then it's going to be flex end. So that's it guys, that's all for today's tutorial. I told you it was gonna be quick. One last thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna do some shameless self-promotion, I hope you don't mind, but I think that you'll like this. I actually built this section called Complete the Look, and it lets you basically add products that are either in the same set, in the same color, any kind of related products, right? And allows you to add buttons so that people can immediately add that to cart and make that impulse purchase. Okay, so if you're interested in that, then simply go to edcodes.gumroad.com and check out this related products section, complete the look, Shopify add-on. It's got some examples here. And when you buy it, it comes with a PDF guide and an instructions video on how you can add this to your store. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you found value from the tutorial and I hope you'll check this out and maybe find this useful as well. Let me know if you have any questions and see you next time.